Okay, hello. Uh, I think you and I know why you're here. And it's most likely because you have a name, the GPU. And you are faced with this annoying repetitive error that would just, you know, ruin your gaming time. Uh, well, we're on the same boat. Uh, TLDR, I've tried many things like the internet suggested, like you know, resetting the shutter cache or, you know, doing clean installs of the drivers and so on and so forth. And nothing solved it. Uh, I've noticed that it would happen only during the games that would be, uh, not sure if that makes sense, graphically demanding. Like, you know, modern titles like Battlefield 5 or Metro Exodus or whatever, you know. Whenever I was running those kind of new games uh, on high presets, ultra presets, whatever, the game would always crash around like, not the game, sorry, the driver itself would crash after like 70-ish minutes of playing. And, uh, yeah, you know, I started looking up the page here uh, on the performance tab, then tuning, and then uh, where you do the global tuning. Uh, the only reason I was here, it was because I've been, uh, I've been uh, playing around with the uh, fan speed uh, control. I just wanted to have the fans running constantly because, you know, I didn't want my GPU to be... Uh, thermally limited, if I could say so. Uh, so, you know, I did the usual, like uh, enable the advanced controls for that and all that. And then I also wanted to play around with undervolting the GPU because uh, the internet suggested that it was a, actually a good habit to have for your AMD hardware, whether it would be a CPU or a, a GPU. So I did that on myself, you know, I, I played with the I played with the voltage, you know, and the crashes would start to to appear, like regardless of what I had here, like for the voltage or I don't know. Oh, by the way, I don't recommend uh, bothering to enable the VRAM tuning for me. You always crashes. Um, yeah, sorry. So uh, then I started to question what's wrong with this. Uh, by the way, I haven't touched that. Uh, for that, you know, this this number will be the number that AMD would go by default, like, you know, trying to go for, like from this tab, from default, it would take the values from this tab and, you know, apply it here and here. And I didn't question it for a long time. Uh, until out of curiosity, I checked out the official ARB's specification page for this GPU. In my case, it's a 7900XTX, uh, the Nitro Plus version from Sapphire. And uh, I looked up the boost clock and the game clock. And like it, <laughs> like you probably noticed now in the on the first side, these numbers are much smaller. Sorry, much smaller to what we have this on the max frequency. So by my own logic, you know, doing a small deduction would be that uh, I think the AMD adrenaline software is telling is giving way too much. Uh, overclocking headroom for the GPU more than it's capable to do it in, in reality. And I was like, wait, so if, so this is the very maximum uh, that could, the GPU could go in a burst. So obviously it would not constantly run on this. Uh, AMD was telling it that it could go even 300 megahertz higher, which is a lot for a GPU. So what I've done is that simply, you know, I looked up what would be the absolute maximum allowed for, for this, which in my case would be uh, 2,560 uh, megahertz, uh, which I, I did apply it. And then the minimum frequency, I set it to something that, you know, I would make sure that the uh, the games wouldn't stutter, you know, because the clock would just bounce down too much. Like, I don't know, I, I've set it like personally to around 2000. It doesn't matter. Like basically the, the, the higher it is and, you know, uh, closer to the max frequency, it should be more stable at the cost of, you know, higher uh, power usage. Speaking of power, what I've also done to just make sure that, you know, it works fine, even though I un underclocked it, 
it was like uh, I think the default one I'm gonna look out the the numbers I had before uh, but what I wanted to point out is that I uh, I also did the power tuning and I basically gave it like even a 5% uh, headroom for more headroom for the power consumption I was like you know even though I did another volt I just wanted to make sure that during those peak times of having the GPU stressed out uh, it would have plenty of energy to to, to use anyway uh, so that was it so basically this the solution is that regardless of what AIB version you have for your GPU. I'm pretty sure this is not the case only for this very specific uh, GPU. It could be as well, I don't know, uh, 600 XT from Gigabyte maybe. I have no idea if they have. They probably have most likely. So most likely the solution will be the same for you. Just try to apply the same technique of to the specification official specifications from that the IV processor and look up the numbers and you know uh, in this case for this GPU from AMD which I think is RDNA2 uh, you, you you would have this very peak of uh, frequency uh, so basically try to go around this number I mean if you want you could try to go a little higher or maybe uh, even a bit lower, but my recommendation is to be very close to this. And yeah, that's it. Uh, of course, sometimes the the presets would uh, uh, get reset on some crashes. Uh, the only crashes that I would have in the last three months since I applied the the solution I presented you earlier now, it would only be uh, just because I lost power. For some reason, the AMD Adrenaline uh, is crashing and is losing the preset I just applied. For some odd reason, I have no idea why it does that. But anyway, but a simple solution is to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, the simplest solution would be to make sure you... Uh, you save that preset. Uh, in my case, I saved it and it should be like this. I'm gonna show you how mine looks. The the preset I have been running for three months without any crash uh, crashes. Sorry. So I'm slightly lower than the maximum frequency from Sapphire, like five megahertz, something like that. This is my frequency I choose for minimum but once again you can go as high as low or, uh, it doesn't matter it's up to you. you you can play around with this value and once again I have not enabled the VRAM tuning uh, even though this was ticked I, I didn't go like uh, aggressive on it you know so I just let it like that and then this is my fan curvature again it's nothing related to the power usage this is why I gave it to the power limit, and uh, yeah, that's it. Let's apply the changes. In case you want to save them, you, you can just export the profile and then save it wherever you want. And it's going to be an HTML, I think, file. No, it's going to be an XML file, actually, containing your uh, settings. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully it's going to work. Good luck.